Hey guys, so I want to talk about a really crucial topic in healthcare, quite honestly, and in your ability to return to the things you love doing again. And really the big question is, am I helping or hurting myself by doing, and that's where you'd fill in your blank, whether you want to get back to playing tennis, playing golf, uh, working out. Uh, for today in this example, we'll just break down lifting overhead, but understand this could be your thing no matter what it is. Um, let's say you go to the doctor and you had x-rays done, maybe even took it a step further and they had MRI done and they had seen that you've got a torn labrum uh, in this case. They note there's some inflammation in there, maybe even a cyst or two and some signs of moderate arthritis. At this very moment, you're going to be keenly listening to your doctor, wondering if you will be hurting yourself. Again, in this analogy, we'll use it as lifting overhead you will be very keenly wondering if you're going to be worsening yourself if you continue to do the thing that you love. In this case, it's lifting overhead. So if your doctor goes, you're only invoking more wear and tear. If you lift overhead, you shouldn't do any more. I know how profound that can be for us uh, as customers, as people, just everyday people. When you go to your doctor's office and you get told that, it can be heartbreaking. And all of a sudden you can take something you put so much passion into and it's kind of like the air gets let out of your balloon. You can't do or you were told that you shouldn't be doing that thing anymore. And maybe you're that person that's so strong-willed you'll still do it anyways, but you're kind of carrying that monkey on your back, that rain cloud over your head that, well, I'm doing this, but my doctor told me that I'm probably invoking more wear and tear on it. The reality is there's almost always some form of regression or form of that thing, of that movement you can do without worrying that you're hurting yourself or going through some form of wear and tear or, or increasing your arthritis. In the case of a shoulder press, I mean, there are a lot of different types of shoulder presses, right? Whether it's barbell, the grip's out, the grip's narrow, depends on your form, right? Depends on what muscles you're using or where your position's at. It depends if you're using kettlebell, uh, dumbbell, elastic bands, how many sets, how many reps. I mean, the variables are almost infinite. And the point I'm trying to make with this is that no matter what your thing is, if you've been told that it's probably going to make you uh, continue to get worse, that you're going to continue to damage something, know that there's almost always hope. There's almost some form of that thing that you can continue to do without knowing that you're going to hurt yourself. In fact, chances are if we do it the right way, in the case of the shoulder press, if we use the right muscles, if we get the range of motion first, if you have a better awareness on how to get it up there with the right form and the right technique, uh, with the right intensity, it can actually be a good thing. It can actually be a very good thing for you. And, and so you see how this question splits hairs into the fork of the road one person who was told that this will be forever making them worse and they'll have more wear and tear goes on a treacherous route they end up in the bar or whatever and they say this didn't work for me my doctor said it. you know my body is just not made to do it versus you find that someone else that says man i don't know if i believe you doc i this is something that's really important to me and if they find a specialist and that specialist goes no this isn't hurting you in fact you're just doing too much weight or i don't know why your form was like that we just need to clean it up or, you know, you didn't have the range of motion yet to do that, but we can get you to do there. What a different mentality with our client A and client B. So it's a huge topic. That's just the tip of the iceberg, but I did want to have you guys kind of start to brainstorm in your own journey if you've kind of gone through something like that and how it personally affected you. I mean, I know that I talked to some clients and they remember what their doctor said very clearly 20 years ago. So. Uh, just comment below if you've had an experience like that and, and if you can relate. I hope that this was very helpful, guys. And as always, thanks for tuning in.